Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's the last day that the Fujitsu server is here um, I have to bring it back to um, Aarhus and Fujitsu's um, offices there unfortunately they want it back so um, today I'm gonna try and see if it will run VMware uh, yesterday I tried server 2016 um, it runs that of course it should run that if I was gonna be using this in the real environment I would spend a little more time and make sure that all the drivers were installed correctly but um, as um, for video purposes I just couldn't be bothered so today I'm gonna try and install ESXi 6.7 on the Fujitsu server um, it should work according to Fujitsu it is ESXi 6.7 ready certified whatever mostly all new servers are so let's um let's pick up the right usb stick here oh it's right there esx esxi 6.7 standard vmware i do not believe that there is a fujitsu esxi image for this if i'm wrong uh please do correct me in the comments but uh, today we're gonna be installing this one Let's see how it does with that and if uh, ESXi is able, maybe ESXi is able to see those two M.2 SSDs in there. That would be really awesome if I could install it on that. But we'll see. If so, the driver needs to be on here. So we're gonna shut down windows here. And uh, oh, many hours of, oh, where is the okay button for that? Go away, that's the go away button, okay. Many hours of updating and installing. Mm -hmm going down the drain <laughs> other plant mm, yeah it's um, definitely other plant <laughs> this is plant <laughs> pop in the USB over here there did it turn off yeah, it turned off so we need to power it up again it's a bit confusing there's a green light up here uh, that marks that the server is powered But there is not that much of a difference between a, uh, a Green light and a power on green light. So that's difficult to work with So let's see I need probably need to press F12 to go um, Select what I want to boot from it should come in just a little bit. I Said just a little bit I'm ready for it. Thank you. F12 has been pressed. Thank you. As you can hear, the Fujitsu um, definitely moves some air through it. There. And do we see our USB stick? That must be the top one. There. There. It sees the USB stick and it's starting the installation of ESXi. Oh, it's going to be very exciting to see if it uh, if I've run into any problems whatsoever. So it um, turned down the fans and did not show anything on the screen here. Ah, there we are again. Cool. Oh, it sees the server Fujitsu Primergy Primergy. RX2540 model 4 Fujitsu's 2U2 socket server it has the silver 4108 that's the newest CPU I've ever had in my data center here so they um, they get credit for that that's for sure lending me a brand new server like that that's so awesome 64 ish gigabytes of memory and loading different drivers down here I am very excited to see what uh, options we get for um, for what to install on okay this is not really about installing ESXi 6.7 but we do get a um, thinky here that that we are about to be installing on here and that ESXi installs on most systems but make sure that it's um, well on the compatibility guideline blah 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 enter to continue do you want to continue we want to continue except and well, it's the license agreement thing. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, what do we have? We have... No. No, 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 no. Uh, it does not see the two SSDs. If you have forgotten, there is two 480 gigabyte SSDs here. There are four two terabyte hard drives here. And inside there is two M.2s SSDs. And it does not see those two M.2s in there. I have no idea why they don't show up. So we're just gonna override that Windows thing. We're just gonna pick the first SSD here, uh, front SSD. As you can see, this is a Samsung. The other ones, the spinning. Oh, someone in the comments called it spinning rust. Um, well, actually, inside the the hard drives, I've heard that the that the plates are nowadays protected with a layer of platinum. So um, it is uh, definitely not spinning rust. It's one of the most expensive materials on the planet. But we are gonna be installing it on the first SSD. Uh, install it on that one then. So blah 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 blah. Are you sure? Yes. Go. We are installing. I am installing my Danish keyboard here. Go gadget. And I need to punch in a password that I can remember. There. Password match. Enter. And F11 for keeping keep installing. So, well, this uh, seems to go okay ish, except it doesn't see those two SSDs. Hmm. Okay, it was bloody fast at that. I was, um, well, I don't stand here waiting for that all the time, I just go out and do something else. So it tells me that now uh, the installation is completed and it wants to reboot, so I can press enter. And we can just go over here and remove the USB stick there, and it should be rebooting now. So it installed without a glitch after that. And the really awesome thing about putting a hypervisor on your server is that it doesn't matter what hardware it is. Right now ESXi is running on this Fujitsu server, but the virtual machines uh, from one of these IBM, or actually this Lenovo down here, well if you uh, connect the servers together in VMware or any other hypervisor, or just um, move the VMwares over to some external storage, well, you can pop them up on any server afterwards that is running the same kind of hypervisor and uh, power them up there. And the virtual machine will, well, won't know the difference, except maybe it sees a new CPU and says, Yoo-hoo, new CPU, and everything will run just as great. This is really neat for maintenance uh, because if um, like my 24 seven server down here should uh, do a hiccup or something um, I would be able to move all the machines over to another server and continue um, safe and secure operation on that and then I could fix the other server and um, nobody would ever need to know that this was happening and the same thing goes when you just want to upgrade your server if well this server the CPU is actually a couple of generations older than the ones in this Fujitsu server. Ooh. Okay, stay there. If I was so fortunate to get a new server, well, I can power that server up right next to it and I can move the virtual machines over to that server and then take this server out of production. This was actually what happened to me a um, couple of weeks ago when um, further back I was using this server down here uh, as my primary server and um, I got this M4 oven running and um, I moved everything up to that. In that specific instance I had uh, installed ESXi on that server and forgotten the password because I was just installing that ESXi for a video and I just needed to remember that password for the video and then suddenly I had put that server into production and that password was just away. So if I was to keep this Fujitsu server, I would now make it a part of my VMware environment and then I would move my virtual machines onto it and then I could power down my Lenovo server down here 
and I would have upgraded my VMware environment. It's not actually the case because this even though it's a couple of generations older it has two CPUs and those CPUs are of a higher grade um, faster than this um, Intel scalable Silver 4108 which is an it's an 8 core but it's only 1.8 gigahertz as I mentioned in the first video this server is actually meant to be part of an Windows storage spaces direct cluster D2D I believe it was called um, so this server is supposed to work together with another server same kind same disk configuration and they're gonna make a cluster on top of that I'm sure that there will be running some Hyper-V servers just another hypervisor on there so these are meant as storage nodes for that and they can of course be expanded uh, there were four hard drives of two terabytes and there is room for six more two terabytes is not that much anymore but this is just a POC well we'll just go and see if the computer sees what we expected to see um, I'm sure it does I can see that it has gotten IP number 11 so let's go check if IP number 11 is uh, replying okay so this could really be any hypervisor and um, yeah I just use ESXi So we're just checking the server in here, maybe see if it sees any of the storage. We're not going to join the VMware customer experience improvement program. Sorry dude. We can see that we are running the certificate is not good yet. And ESXi is on a trial version. Awesome. Uh, let's see, we have the host and it sees the host. It's the Fiatsu and it's the G RX blah 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 RX 2540 M4 8 CPUs well kind of and it's the Intel Xeon Silver 4108 1.8 gigahertz uh, version of ESXi blah 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 everything is good let's check that storage storage devices it does not see the M.2 SSDs I really don't have any idea how to use those. Um, why don't they just pop up in here? But otherwise the host is ready for a lot of VMs. So what are my thoughts on this Fujitsu server? I like the build quality. It's very well made. It's a well built server. Uh, the only thing that, I, that popped up that I did not really enjoy was that to remove that riser card I needed to uh, get the old screwdriver out of the out of the toolbox. There was actually five screws that attached that. Also, uh, to get the LOM card out of there and replace that, that had four screws. That that would be something that I would prefer was um, toolless. The rails, too many parts. The the ra the main rails was great. I really like those, and they were able to be adjusted in length quite a lot that was brilliant awesome really good the cable management arm I really like the packets that it came in that you had all the, the things in this one box and you could take that and you could install it what I didn't like as much was all the parts that were there it was as if um, well it was too much of a puzzle to put that together and um, number one was of course the difficult one number two I would have been able to do that in less than two minutes I'm sure but too many parts uh, the front of the server looks really great I think it's too noisy why does it have to be that noisy um, this server down here that is doing way more than this server up here there is making way less noise most of the time it's not a problem because servers like this is in a data center where noise is not really a problem because well because normally I use ear protection or hearing protection when I'm in a data center because you can be there for hours and um, my data center is pretty quiet compared to a real production data center drivers for this thing uh, those M.2 SSDs somebody has picked some chipset drivers for that that is doesn't pop up anywhere it would have been a really good idea if they had popped up in Windows and in something as widely used as ESXi that would have been brilliant if it had just 
popped up. Another very important feature of an enterprise server like this is the service. What happens if something goes wrong? I, of course, have no experience with Fujitsu servers on this, on, on this point. Uh, only thing I could see that someone in the comments told me that the service on Fujitsu servers was really good compared to some other brands. So that's just a rumor. Service is good. Fortunately, it's a good rumor. So, um, yeah. I have to uh, take this server down now and uh, put it back into the box. So, um, yeah, shall we do that? Let's do that. Shutting down the server. There it is, it's off. See, there wasn't much of a difference here from on and to um, powered on. So just to clarify, it does actually, this software comes with the server uh, Fujitsu, Fujitsu software server view and it says here that there is an um, install, installation manager, unattended installation supported for uh, Microsoft Windows Server, Linux Enterprise, SUSE Red Hat and VMware ESXi as well as blah 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 blah. I would hope that the drivers for both Windows and ESXi would be working if I was using this CD instead of just a generic installation of both Windows and of ESXi. So the rails go back in the box. Um, I asked when I unboxed these what this piece of paper was and I got a lot of suggestions that this piece of paper might be containing some kind of an oil so the, when this was in the box with the rails they would not rust and stuff like that so um, corrode that might be it i have no idea but it's a very good because there was one in here and there was one in the cable management arm so probably that's that's probably true Okay, so that's it for the Fujitsu. I dropped some dirt on it when it was in the car. Okay, it does go off. I want this to look good. There, that will dry up really nicely. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the Fujitsu. Primogy, Primogy. I still can't say that. But it's the RX2540 M4. I can do the numbers. <laughs> if you really wanna see more products like this, uh, please remember to uh, join me, follow me over at Twitter, and maybe even become a Patreon supporter. Um, enough Patreons, we can just buy this ourselves. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.